the interscaling block can be used for shoulder and upper arm surgery, but will spare the lower arm and hand. The interscaling block targets the roots and trunks of the brachial plexus, C5, C6, and C7. We remember the breakdown of the brachial plexus with the mnemonic, Randy Travis drinks cold beer. The basic setup for an interscaling block includes a short bevel insulated 22 gauge, 3 to 5 centimeter needle, sterile towels, two 20 ml syringes for local anesthetic, extension tubing, a 3 ml syringe and a 25 gauge needle to place a local anesthetic skin wheel, a peripheral nerve stimulator or an ultrasound, sterile gloves, and aseptic cleansing solution. Below is a basic overview of the steps needed to perform an interscaling block. Place the patient in the supine position with the head slightly elevated. Have the patient drop their shoulder and turn their head away from the side the block will be administered on for optimal access and visualization. For placement of the interscaling block, identify the clavicle, the sternal head of the SCM, and the lateral border of the SCM. Medial to the sternal branch of the SCM, you may feel the transverse process of C6. Directly across and lateral to the lateral portion of the SCM is the interscaling groove. Here you will be at the level of the trunks of the brachial plexus, in between the anterior scalene muscle and the middle scalene muscle. This is the location for needle placement, posterior and angled slightly caudad, no more than 2.5 centimeters deep. If using the ultrasound technique, work from the clavicle up until you find the three roots of the brachial plexus, which will resemble a stoplight. Remember to use a probe cover. The roots of the brachial plexus will resemble a stoplight and be located in between the anterior and middle scalene muscles. When inserting the needle, avoid intravascular injection into the vein below the plexus. After negative heme or CSF aspiration, Slowly inject local anesthetic in 5 ml increments for a total of up to 30 mLs, ensuring negative aspiration each time. If you meet resistance, stop.